perception starts to unravel. The police also learned that Sarah Spenson had attacked Alexandra with a hammer earlier in November 2003. Fosmo, the pastor, also found himself at the center of the investigation. So, a little bit of background about Helg Fosmo. He originated from the village of B Bjornberg, close to Christineham in Sweden. His parents were Norwegian. Um, the family wasn't particularly religious, but when he was around 10 years old, he joined the scouting organization of the Mission Covenant Church in Bjornberg. Not long before he turned 12, he ended up being born again, which I believe Pentecostal are born again. Maybe not all of them. Never mind. Scratch that. So 
is not explicit in the New Testament, so they decided that Asa Waldo would end up being the bride of Christ, and she became an extremely important part of the community. So on March 29th, 1999, Fosmo was the only other person present at the ceremony where Asa Waldo married Jesus. So she had a gold ring with seven diamonds and she put it on. And from then on, she was the bride of Christ. Um, so later on, claimed that she, or that he had to med mediate Jesus to her, so he had to make the connection, bridge the gap between Jesus and Asa, and he had to do this in a sexual way. Asa denied this, however. So, back to the investigation. The police continued to investigate and they found out that Basmo was having an affair with Sarah Spenson, the nanny. Their affair became, sorry, began shortly after she started working as a nanny and looking after his three kids from his previous marriage. So, we find out a little bit later about that. Um, well, actually, we find out right now, sorry. <laughs> so, Fosmo's first wife died in 1999 after, quote-unquote, falling into the bathtub. Forensic evidence suggested that there was a heavy dose of an opioid called dextropropocyphene in the woman's body, so it's, it's almost as if she overdosed, and there was also a hole in her skull that was ruled to be from hitting her head in the bathtub. So, within a few months, Bosmo had a new wife named Alexandra, who was the youngest sister of Asa, the Bride of Christ. I know this is getting a little bit confusing, but bear with so in June 2001, Bosmo ended up getting sick, and he was nursed by Sarah Spenson, the, the nanny, and it was as if she was the only person who could take care of him, so she ended up moving into the bedroom, and his wife at the time moved into the guest room. Um, Sarah ended up divorcing her husband a year later. Um, but Asa, the Bride of Christ, didn't approve of the, the affair that Bosmo was having with Sarah. So Sarah was put under church discipline and she was shunned. Sarah claimed in court that she was somewhat of a sex slave to Bosmo. Um, after the affair with Sarah, Fosmo then started to covet or have an affair with Annette Lind, the wife of the man that was shot in the head and the chest. And they started an affair in autumn of 2003. So Fosmo uh, was not a very good 
Zawaldo was never prosecuted in connection to Alexander's murder, um, but Bosmo claimed that it was her and not him, like I said, that was behind the texts to Sarah. Asa Waldo, of course, denied this allegation. She said, um, since I left not to be, I have gone through a long process. Oh, sorry, this is from Bosmo. This is what Bosmo said. Since I left not to be, I have gone through a long process. Feelings, thoughts, behavior, my whole self were impregnated by a poisonous sect culture. Um, so to me, it seems like a cop-out. Like maybe the culture, like maybe he was brainwashed, but I don't think that excuses him from manipulating a young woman to kill his wife. Especially since he had an affair with Sarah and had an affair with his neighbor. And he also said that the Bride of Christ didn't approve of these affairs. So why would she tell him to kill his wife when she didn't even approve of the affair that he was having? I can understand if he was having an affair with her where she would want the wife dead but it doesn't really make any sense so Waldo, like I said, she ended up being convicted of abuse towards the members of the church I didn't find a whole lot of information on that but she tried to appeal this in 2020, April 2020 but she ended up withdrawing the appeal um, so, she ended up changing her name and is trying to stay out of the public eye. Anyway, the documentary is really interesting. If you want to watch it, I didn't give everything away. I just kind of told you a little outline of what happened because it's like a really crazy story. The interview with Sarah, the nanny, is makes all of it 